Well, hello everyone. I just felt compelled to make another video on Lana Vowser. Now, this woman is a false prophet. Um, I'm going to read this picture to you here, okay? And then we'll go from there. And this is by Lana Vowser, the woman that you just saw there in the last video. And here's what she said. <laughs> I heard the Lord say, the camels are coming with increase. I saw them coming, carrying a double portion. I wonder if that's with two lumps. It's obviously got a camel with the two bumps one. Anyway, double portion. They were coming to bring provision, help, and blessing. Ooh. What these camels are bringing are the finest, most excellent provisions of heaven that we have ever seen in the body of Christ. And this is by Lana Vazer. Now, guys, I don't know if you guys are giggling. I am giggling here to myself, like, really, the camels are coming with increase. Like, where, uh, chapter, verse, where on earth is that? And I saw them carrying a double portion. Yeah, when I think of double portion, I think of the double bumps on the camels, okay? <laughs> they're going to bring provision, help, and blessing. And, uh, yeah, they're going to be coming... They're never going to see provisions out of heaven like we've ever seen in the body of Christ. Woohoo! Tickling ears here again. Okay, so now that I've shown you this by Lana Bowser, I'm going to show you here, first of all, what people are commenting and saying. Tessa Yacht says, I saw a camel in worship last week. I didn't know what it meant, but I knew you'd mention it, mentioned it, and GID has Ling promised me double portion. I need to read your post about camels! Exclamation mark. I'll have to go searching. Love! And then Dory Coffee says, The camels came at the first coming of Jesus, bearing gifts and carrying wisdom. Now they are coming again, bearing gifts, wisdom and understanding. His second coming is very close. Okay, I I'm going to read the the scripture in its proper context now in a minute okay so there is a scripture that goes along with this <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Jocelyn Huang says I wrote this song today after I re read, read your words the camels are coming <laughs> okay so basically you have people that are listening to this and taking this utter rubbish seriously now so let me go to Lana and Lana, I'm going to read some of this. I'm not going to read it all, but I'm going to read some of it. And she, this is actually from the ElijahList.com. Now, the Elijah List, if you don't know these people, they're off their trolleys. They're with um, the, the New Apostolic Reformation and their false teachers. And, of course, they don't hear from God at all. It's a load of nonsense. So, you know, you have to test everything by God's word. So, anyway, she has this article the camels are coming with increase in provision by Lana Vazer. I can't wait to see camels in Ireland. I've never, you know, I've never seen a camel in Ireland in my life. <laughs> I actually rode a camel once when I was over in Puerto Ventura, but that that was over in a hot country. Anyway, so by Lana Vazer in Brisbane and Australia. I actually didn't know they had camels in Australia either. But anyway, she says this. Over the past few weeks, the Lord has really been highlighting camels to me. I first came across the divine highlight in, okay, this is the scripture she used, Isaiah 66. Herds of camels will come to your land. Young camels of Midian and Ephah and all from Sheba will come bearing incense and gold and proclaiming the praise of the Lord. Since then, she says, I have been seeing them everywhere. <laughs> And recently a hotel, hotel we stayed in our room was 606. The Lord is speaking, inverted comma, or sorry, exclamation point. And here she says, I have been pondering this word for a few weeks and I really wanted to hear the heart of the Lord. So I told Chuck Pierce, now he's another nut job, had a, had a word of number, uh, had a word a number of years ago called the candles are coming. So I wondered why I was hearing it now and seeing them everywhere. As I sat with the Lord on this, I felt the Lord saying that the camels are coming with increase. And I saw them coming, carrying a double portion. Of course, it has to be a double portion. 
because, you know, they always say it's a double portion. Not just a normal portion, but a double portion. And they were coming to bring provision, help, and blessing. Okay. So the Camelot's coming over to Ireland, coming over on, on Irish Airways. We call it Aer Lingus, by the way. And he's, they're going to come to Ireland and give us provision. Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and just so you know, that there might be camels in your front yard. I want you to go run out there now and see if the camels of provision with the double portion are coming now. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. the camels were coming with increase and I saw them coming, carrying a double portion. They were coming to bring provision, help and blessing. What these camels are bringing are the finest, most excellent provisions of heaven um, that we have ever seen as the body of Christ. The manifestation of this abundant provision will manifest in many ways, not just materially throughout the body of Christ. Okay, now I want you to think about this. Okay, so you've got the camels. They're going to bring provision. Oh, well. And they're going to manifest in different types of ways. So they may not manifest as a camel, but they may manifest as a dog. Or maybe a cow. Or probably a sheep. Who knows? Anyway, let's keep going. Probably a goat. More like, but anyway, let's go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and this is what she said. The Lord also highlighted Isaiah 60, verse 5 to me. Then you will be radiant and your heart will thrill and rejoice because of the abundance of the sea will be turned to you. And the wealth, the wealth of the nations will come to you. Okay, so now we have camels. Now, I'm just wondering, will the camels swim in the sea to bring the provision to the fish? Okay, yeah. No, I don't know. There is a turning of provision, abundance, and wealth of the nations that will be handed to the church to extend the kingdom of God on the earth. This will help the poor care for the widows. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry for laughing, but... Really, this is going to help the poor. The camels are going to help the poor. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, to help the poor, care for the widows and orphans, to see greater extension and generosity provision flow from the church. I felt this tremendous, here comes the, the buzzword, shift in the area of finances and the provision of the body of Christ. Okay. The Lord is highlighting stewardship in this season and teaching us in greater ways how to steward what he has given to us in every area of life. He is looking for excellence, purity and integrity in our stewardship of the camels. You see, the, you got the nice little camel guy there, you know, and they're all looking after the camels and the camels are going to come look after all of us in Ireland and freeze in Ireland. I'm going to get a plane over here, maybe get a boat, who knows. <laughs> As we continue to remain teachable and move in integrity, humility, character, and stay surrendered, he will add more. He will bring greater increase, not just financially, but in many areas. Where there has been lack upon lack, these camels coming are declaring. Okay, now you've got to see the camels. They're all shouting. Okay, they're all shouting. Abundant provision for every God breeds division. So that's what the camel has just said. Now it's opened up its mouth, kind of like the donkey, you know. And I said, oh, there's a provision for every God. Now, I know you think I'm being mocking here, but I, I am actually mocking because this is ridiculous. Um, She goes on, I suppose I'll read the rest of it just for the fun. It's like a story. So here we go. This is like a myth and a fable, but it's fun because it's a story, even though it's a load of nonsense. Anyway, the nations will come in. The Lord showed me that the camels coming will bring it, will be increased in abundance of provision, wealth and help. And that there will be a major impact on the nations. So these camels are going to be a major impact on the nations. So they're going to go up to Alaska. Yeah, they're, they're going up to Alaska. It's where it's freezing cold. And, <laughs> and they're going up to Finland and Iceland as well. You know, even though it's going to be cold and they'll die. But they're, you know, they're bringing the provision. So here we have breakthrough upon breakthrough upon breakthrough and the camels coming are in bringing the provision so the church can take her place to serve, influence and lead the nations in ways we have never seen. So basically instead of having a president we're going to have a camel. Okay, so it's going to be a big camel, a president-elect camel <laughs> in the 
the White House. Yeah, um, with his two big bumps on his back, um, you know, talking to the people. Does this sound like a children's book? I. Anyway, <sighs> yeah, God is bringing the help of the tools and the provisions. So we, so when the call comes, quote unquote, we step into the gracious answer, Jesus. God will also provide us with physical provisions to bless and extend and exist. Not only is God about to add provision and resources, okay, there's more coming, needed to extend his vision. The vision he has placed in the hearts of his people that have been carrying in their hearts through the fire and desert, and it has been tested and tried over and over. The provision will be greater than ever imagined. Ephesians 3.20, she liked that verse. And God can do whatever, you know, that one where God will bring more than we can know or imagine or whatever. So, here we have this utter rubbish now about the camels. <laughs> and they're going to be, you know, coming over to Finland. And they're going to be going all over the world. And they're going to preach in the White House. And some of them are going to become presidents. You know, because they're bringing the increase. <laughs> and the double portion, which is the two bumps on their back. Anyway, so that's... That's that, that's what Lana Bowser says. Now, okay, so after all that craziness with Isaiah 60, um, verse 6, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to read the first seven verses of Isaiah 60. And then after that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it into historical context. And I'm going to show you who this is talking about. And trust me, it's completely different <laughs> to what Lana Vazer said. <laughs> anyway, let's go. Okay, so here it says, Isaiah 60. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people, but the Lord shall rise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and the kings to the brightness of thy rising. Lift up thine eyes about, and see, all they gather themselves together. They come to thee, thy sons shall come from afar, and thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side. Thou sh then thou shalt see, and flow together, and thine heart shall fear. Thy heart shall fear, and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. The multitude, now this is the scripture that she uses out of context, okay? The multitude of camels shall cover thee. The dromedaries of Midian and Ephav, all from Sheba, shall come. They shall bring gold and the incense, and they shall show forth the praises of the Lord. Okay? And, um... All the flocks of Kedar shall be gathered together unto thee. The rams of Neoboeth shall minister unto thee. They shall come up with acceptance on mine altar, and I will glorify the house of my glory. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you um, the introduction uh, and what chapter 60 and 62 are about, okay? So this is actually written by a man called Dennis Bratcher, okay? And the website here is crivoice.org, okay? And it says here, chapter 60 to 62 are the heart of the third section of Isaiah 56 to 66, the community of returned exiles struggled to believe that God was still working in their midst. The promises recorded in the second section of Isaiah during the exile, 40 to 55, pointed to a great future for God's people. They had regained possession of the land as promised but there were barely existing. The community of God's people was in no condition to be a light to the nations. Throughout these chapters, prophetic interpretations of actual historical events 
are interwoven with visionary descriptions of the working out of God's purpose in history. The language in this chapter is highly poetic, painting a glorious word picture of the resur res restoration of where? Jerusalem. Now, Lana says that it's the nations, American nations, and it's the nations of all over the world. This was, this was about Jerusalem. And Anissa's note, Micah 4 and Ezekiel 40. The exact setting of this chapter is not certain. Historical events unfolding in Israel during the 5th century BC likely provide the background for the passage. And here is the historical context. Now, after a long struggle with severe opposition from surrounding peoples, the returned exiles finally won support from the Persian king of Exterces. It's not clear whether this was Exterces I, which is 464 to 423 BC, or Exterces or II, which is 404-358. I'm sorry if I butchered that name. The books of Ezra and Nehemiah that record these events are not in chronological sequence. He commissioned Ezra, the scribe, to return to Jerusalem to secure the welfare of the city. Xerxes funded Ezra's mission and, and ordered the provincial treasurers to provide Ezra whatever he needed. Now you might be wondering who Ezra is. Here it says this, Ezra is a descendant of Saria. The high priest was living in Babylon when in the seventh year, C 457 BCE, of Arsdasis, king of Persia, the king sent him to Jerusalem to teach the laws of God to any who did not know them. So that's Ezra, okay? So back to this, <coughs> specifically mentioned is the attention, okay, so here we have, so Exterces funded Ezra's mission and ordered the provincial treasurers to provide Ezra whatever he needed, okay? Remember he was a high priest in Babylon? Okay, that's Ezra 7, Isaiah 65 to 7. Now remember, Isaiah 65 to 7, you've got uh, verse 6 in there as well. Specifically mentioned is the intention to, what was the treasure's thing for? Beautify the house of the Lord in where? Jerusalem. Okay, so the reasoning behind this to bring these treasures and all of that it was to bring it to the high priest to beautify the house of the Lord in Jerusalem has nothing to do with the nations has nothing to do with the camels bringing a double portion nothing and I'll continue on here the returned exiles faced severe problems part of the reason was that the people had allowed sin to pervert their, their mission as God's people Isaiah 59 and in chapter 60, the prophet renews the promises of a new day for the community of faith. He assures the people that God has not forgotten them and that their mission as a light to the world has not changed. The new events transpiring mark the beginning of God's new day for his people. So there you go. That's the historical context of it. Okay. It was, it was basically the camels were bringing um treasuries to provide a high priest called Ezra to beautify the house um of the Lord in where Jerusalem <laughs> okay so that's why I was mocking that because it really is ridiculous that what that woman is teaching and it's anti-christ and it's anti-biblical and it needs to be exposed for what it really is. And, you know, I just praise God. I've had some people contacting me saying, praise God for these videos. I'm learning a lot. And, you know, I just thank you, Jesus. The glory goes to our precious God, you know. And uh, so that's all I have to share with you today. 
and I just want to say that, you know, if you find these videos helpful or whatever, please feel free to subscribe, to like and share if you choose to. And I'll talk to you super soon. And may the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you. Bye for now. Bye bye.